Hi everyone, for friends who waited for my video yesterday, I want to apologize, yesterday my aunt had a small accident while playing with her grandson, which broke her arm. So I was a little busy back then. Taylor Swift's song, Style, is said to be about her ex-lover, Harry Styles. Through symbolism, however, the video gives the song another meaning. It is about having an alter persona, the ultimate result of monarch mind control. Taylor Swift has for years been one of the biggest selling artists in the record industry. She is nothing less than a pop culture phenomenon with an enormous fan base and constant media exposure. Of course, like all record industry stars, Swift has the duty to sometimes bring the occult elite symbolism to the masses. Style is somewhat darker and more abstract than Taylor Swift's previous offerings. Said to be based on her relationship with One Direction's Harry Styles, the video solely focuses on two people. Swift and a guy who specializes in looking sad in a variety of settings. While the song appears to be about an impossible relationship, the symbolism in the video points to something deeper. Indeed, the imagery of the video is not pure aesthetic. It has a profound psychological meaning. Many of the symbols used in the video are of great importance in the dark world of monarch mind control, which is based on splitting the core personality through trauma. Once decoded, style is less about a relationship with another person, and more about the relationship between the core persona, Taylor Swift, and the alter persona, the sad-looking guy. While it might appear strange that the alter persona is male, alters that are the opposite gender from the body are common in MK slaves who suffer from a dissociative identity disorder. Let's look at the imagery of the video. It is subtle, but once all of the images are put together, they strongly point towards a specific concept. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Right from the start, the video indicates that what you are about to witness, is happening inside Swift's head. Swift's head is symbolically hollowed out inside, which appears her alter persona. The video then alternates between shots of Swift doing stuff outside, and a guy inside a dark room looking very sad. Throughout the video, Swift and the guy will never be seen together because they cannot exist at the same time. Only one altar can be triggered at a time. There is one scene where their bodies are shown together, but we do not see their faces. During the chorus, the imagery is all about the fracturing of the core persona and the creation of altars. A crack appears on Swift's face, indicating the splitting of the personality. This is followed by a close-up of Swift's head, juxtaposed with a cracked mirror, representing the fracturing of the core persona. The symbolic meaning of mirrors, especially broken mirrors, is extremely important in the world of mind control. If you review my past videos on Monarch Programming Inspired, nearly all of them feature a broken mirror somewhere. Style exploits the symbol of its broken mirror and its psychological meaning, especially when one considers its meaning in MK symbolism. Fritz Springmeier, in his book entitled, The Illuminati Formula to Create a Mind Control Slave, writes, the elements that make up who a person is, in other words, personality elements such as memories, are fractured. These fragments have in turn often been built up into full-blown personalities with all the elements of full-blown personalities. There is no real person, just as if you smash a mirror into a thousand pieces, there is no single piece that is the real original mirror, but rather simply fragments, that can in turn operate as mirrors. However, there is still a primal self. This image, sums up the entire video. The guy holds a mirror fragment, and uses it to hide one eye, which is, coincidentally, the ultimate sign representing the occult elite's MK industry. On the fragment is a reflection of Taylor Swift, the other altar. Later in the video, Taylor hides one eye with her hand, on which is projected the face of the guy, again, hinting at the split personality. One cannot exist alongside the other. When the guy approaches, Swift turns around and leaves. During the video, we also see subtle references to what happens to MK slaves during programming. A lightning bolt goes through Taylor's head. 
This can be a reference to electroshock torture, which is often used in mind control to cause dissociation. The altar also gets shocked. Smoke gradually filling Taylor's head represents the hazy, confused, and intoxicated state of MK slaves. At the beginning of the second verse, we see road lines going through the guy's head, indicating, once again, that this is all happening in his head. When he looks at the rearview mirror, he sees Swift, indicating that, despite being the altar that is triggered, he is still physically Taylor Swift. Throughout the video, Taylor and the guy mirror each other. When one is seen outdoors, meaning that the altar is triggered, the other is indoors and watches a projection of the triggered altar. The altar inside the dark room can only be a distant witness to what happens to triggered altar. When the guy is seen outdoors spreading his arms, Taylor is in a dark, hazy, ethereal place, because she is not triggered. The guy's face is projected on her dress. You probably noticed that the guy's eyes are a different color, a condition called heterochromia. While this condition usually trivial, or even charming, the video heavily focuses on it. It is yet another way of emphasizing the concept of split personality, and the elite's unhealthy obsession with eyes, that are not paired up. While the video style can be interpreted as a simple succession of pretty images starring two beautiful people, an educated look at the imagery at hand, reveals a deeper story. Through symbols, the video alludes to a psychological process. The fracturing of the core persona and the creation of altars, the ultimate goal of monarch mind control. While this interpretation might sound out there, mind control is a constantly recurring theme in the music industry. Proof can be found in my countless previous videos. One might ask. Why would the entertainment industry insist on getting MK symbolism out there? It is because those who rule the industry are deep into the MK system. Some high-placed individuals are mind control handlers, and many stars are mind control slaves. They have created a sick, depraved culture around this sadistic practice, and they want the masses, through constant media exposure, to accept this culture as popular culture. Being one of the top-selling artists of the decade, Taylor Swift is a candidate of choice to push that agenda. She is no different than many pop singers before her. And, in the future, fresh new stars will do the same. Because, as long as the occult elite rules the entertainment industry, mind control will never go out of style. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.